Our next guest grew up knowing that her voice would be the essence of her career. And being a successful radio personality was the furthest thing from her mind. Tonight, we follow the journey of a former aspiring Grammy singer turned radio personality. Meet Shelly Wade. I grew up wanting to be a Grammy Award winning singer. I remember me calling in one time and winning a singing contest on the radio. You know, they would have this uh, contest where they would get two listeners on the line, and one person would sing and another person would sing, and then the listeners would call and vote on, on the, the people. And I was a winner of one of those contests. I remember that vividly because it was around that time that I really um, just kind of realized I want to do this for a living. You know, I'm a huge Prince fan. You know, I've been devastated by his death. I've been a Prince fan since I was in elementary school and I credit him with being the reason I wanted to be a professional singer because he influenced me so uh, much with his music that it made me want to inspire people with my music the way he inspired me. So from elementary school, I dreamed of being a singer and it actually even now surprises me that I don't do that for a living because it was what I knew I was destined to do. We've got some fresh new young talent doing some things that I know you haven't heard before. One, two, three, listen. My name is Shelly Wade. I grew up in Houston, Texas. I am the host of All the Rage with Shelly Wade right here on Star 941 in San Diego and 104.3 My FM Los Angeles radio personality, sometimes TV personality. It wasn't until I started working at my college radio station that I, I realized, you know what, I want to pursue this. I still wanted to sing, but that was the first time I really caught the uh, radio bug. You know, I really want to pursue this, see if I can do it professionally. So my first job in radio, as far as getting paid for it, was as a receptionist, a temporary uh, receptionist. And then um, one day, the uh, production director, people in charge of doing commercials, yada, yada, yada. So he would come out of the studio a couple of times daily, and he sat in the lobby, and he was like, so what, what, what are your goals? What do you want to do with your life, you know? I was like, I actually want to be on the radio. I've been telling, you know, him that I wanted to be on the radio. And he's like, oh, okay. He says, well, I'll tell you what. Come back to my studio. I'll teach you a few things. He had me start voicing. He liked my voice, so he had me start voicing stuff for the station. And the program director heard my voice on the radio one day, and he called the production director. He was like, who is that lady that you had do that? He was like, that's Shelly, the receptionist. So he called me while I was at the reception desk, and he was like, hey, I heard you on the radio. You sound great. I'd like to hear how you would sound on air, though. So I sent him that stuff from college, and he was like, no, no, no. I want to hear how you would sound on my station. So again, the production director, um, he sits me in front of the mic and he gives me a script. He recorded me and then I gave that to the program director. He said, you sound great, I'm putting you on this weekend. And that's how I got my break. I worked in, in, in radio in Houston for about nine years, but you know, the time I wanted to be a singer when I was a kid. I always wanted to move to New York. So naturally, being a radio personality, um, New York is the number one radio market. I was like, okay, still got the goal of living in New York. So every now and then I would send my, my audition tapes all and I asked to speak to Tom Holman, who was a PD at the time. And, um, and the lady answered the phone. She was like, well, he's not available. How may I help you? And I said, well, my name is Shelly Wade. I sent in a package um, and I just wanted to make sure he got it. She was like, Shelly Wade, I used to listen to you when you were, you know, when I lived in Houston. And so that was essentially my end. And then at one point she sent me an email, hey, we're looking to hire somebody at one of our stations in the Northeast, would you send me some audio? And I sent it to her, and then one uh, day I was at home and I was asleep and the phone rang and I picked it up and I'm like, wow. And this man on the other line, he goes, I'm calling for Shelly. And I was like, this is she? He was like, Shelly, it's Tom Holman. I'm like, oh! and I jumped up, you know, because he's this huge guy, not only in the industry, but he runs that station, Z100, that I'd wanted to work at. And so he was like, hey, listen, Sharon shared your audio with me. You sound amazing. Would you like to come up for an audition? And I was like, where? An audition where? And he was kind of like, um, Z100? Like, where else would I be saying? So I flew up June 7th and uh, did the audition. And it was really, to me, an honor to be able to work there and to, to have my own radio show in New York for 12 years. Really, I always say everything else in my career is like icing. At one point when I was on air at Z100, I was replaced by Ryan Seacrest, you know, and I had to start working overnight. Still loved working at the radio station that 
that shift was killing me though. And I just needed a change in my life. And it was at that moment that my boss here, my now boss here in San Diego called me. So he told me what it was all about. I thought about it for a while. I really needed a change in my life. I called and talked to my family and they thought it was a great idea. As much as they love New York, they knew I needed a change too. And so I took the job, you know? And I'm really happy. I've been in San Diego now for about three years and I just really love the city. It's beautiful. I would say it's good for the soul, you know, because I always love to go to La Jolla and look out at the water and going on the long walks around Lake Miramar or wherever, climbing up Kyle's Mountain. And it's just a really great town. People are nice and I love it here. For a few years, I was like, you know, I want to do a feature that incorporates things that I love with entertainment, with celeb, with, you know, food and everything. And initially I wanted it to be just something I did on my personal website. And then when I, I came to Star 941, I was like, you know what? That's going to be the name of my show. And my boss let me uh, name my show All the Rage with Shelly Wade. And, and that's what it is. You know, it's it's um, everything that I find exciting and interested in talking about. I eventually want to take it to TV as a TV feature and eventually I want to have my own talk show. Not sure that I would call it all the rage with Shelly Wade, but that's my dream in TV. The biggest piece of advice I can give people is to share your goals and dreams with people. A lot of people just um, they'll try it something and they'll get frustrated because it's not happening. You can never be a success without others help. I think that's the best advice, is to share with people your goals. The people who can help you uh, achieve those goals, share it with them. They don't know that they should help you if they don't know what, that they need to help you. Hi, I'm Shelly Wade, host of All the Rage with Shelly Wade here on Star 94.1 FM, and you are watching The Block. You can hear Shelly daily on iHeartMedia's Star 94.1 FM. To learn more about her exciting career, visit her on her website at ShellyWay.com.